How's everybody doing out there today? It's 11 o'clock in the morning Eastern Standard Time on 2-28-2021. Last day of February. March 1st tomorrow. Fork Day. Mary for ADA. And a pullback was expected today. But of course the market's also going down today a little bit. So let's take a look at that in a minute and discuss what's going on with it after that. So right now it's uh, the United Allied States. Steve is working with uh, Wessel and they're getting everything taken care of, but there's a lot of legislature stuff you got to take care of and a bunch of other pieces that they're working on to try to organize the second leg of the multinational tour since they've only done one nation so far. You gotta, it's a multinational. So getting that lined up and also on top of that, some strata stuff uh, that he's discussing in the main group, uh, also exchanges trying to get uh, some exchange stuff lined up, keep a steady stream of new exchanges, EAPL, APL, GSX. So you got all that going on and more. So we'll get any breaking news from them. I will have it. Also a tweet that uh, Steve gave permission to put out is, where is Charlie? Charles, the guy wants to own Africa, but how much time does he spend there? We eat, breathe, and live Africa. It's unlikely he will get any further than an MOU against our new model. But if he does, then all respect to him. I suspect that when the NPP and the e-government gets lined up and used by the governments, and that is the key, it's one thing to have the products, but you need to have them used by the governments. So once it is signed and used by the governments, there you go. That will blow the doors off of where Cardano stands right now. Um, they have good big plans after the fork but they have not progressed as far in developing what, in fact, I watched a long video with Charles, and I could tell right after I got into it that he's a good mathematician and a good uh, guy for a smart guy, even a good speaker, but they don't have the devs that Apollo has. Apollo has the best devs in the world. Two seconds speed and sharding, on t you know, to do that, that's huge, and they're worried about having that capacity. Apollo's already taken care of that. So when you have that, all that as your arsenal, all you got to do is get it used. So get your butts out there, Apollo Fintech, and get it done. Bust through borders, okay? Get some good, if you're having problems with COVID, get some guys like the Navy SEALs. Get them in there. Get, get in and get it done. Get it signed. Get it done. Because everybody's waiting. The coin is just waiting to romp. So let's see if March can romp the coin. Get the stuff out there. BTC 43719. 1.3, almost 1.4 trillion in the market cap. 84 or 64? 60. Oh, that's all. 64 in the daily. That's all. Back about six, eight months ago. That was huge. Um, ETH at 1336. Down a little bit. ADA is at 123. I suspect that by tonight, ADA should be approaching the 118 or so, 115 maybe, or may hold right about 120. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. But where is it going to go afterwards, after this Mary Fork, the Hail Mary as some people say? It could go way up after the fork. This fork is not a bad thing to people. This was planned as part of, the, of their expansion for the DeFi network. So this is not anything that you have to worry about with a fork, no. But you get some people pulling back because they get worried about what could happen with a fork. Well, fork this, okay? Stay safe with the coin, hodl, and get ready for an explosion after the fork. Coinbase has set a high bar for crypto firms looking for to list, says institutional rival. <laughs> CEO, CEO of LMAX Group David Mercer says, damn, they made it tough on me. Vitalik, <laughs> Vitalik, Vitalik, yes, Vitalik Buterin. Solving Ethereum capacity is more urgent than launching Ethereum 2.0. <laughs> oh, 
Apollo did sharding summer 2019. Database sharding. You guys suck. Okay, now, Dubai based crypto funds selling 750,000 in Bitcoin to buy two altcoins. What two altcoins are they buying? It's probably, I haven't read it. It's probably something that they put out with their own coins, trying to push an advertisement on their own coins. I'm not going to get into it. Coinbase CEO net worth is between 7 billion and 15 billion for holy mackerel Armstrong. Brian Armstrong has got that much. But then again, you design and put out an exchange like Coinbase with cold storage and get such a good reputation overall except for high fees. Yeah, yeah, I guess you can say he's doing damn good and did a good job with it. Why Knox World Pay is the best cryptocurrency gateway? It's not out yet, uh, but it's been. The parameters have been discussed, and so people know what it's going to do once it gets active along with Knox Bank. You know, Apollo put the Knox Bank and Knox World Pay on their door of their office logos. Okay, so they know, you know what's coming. If they, if it's not coming, then they would have a problem with that. Okay, yeah, step in. Okay, I want to talk to you about Knox Bank. Oh, we don't have that active yet. What about Knox World Pay? Oh, no, we don't have that active yet. So that's coming shortly. FCC approves $50 a month emergency broadband subsidies. Good for the people that need that. Um, for the low income people, they do need that. Get ready for them to take care of business guys because Apollo FinTech is, they have all the arsenal ready. They have everything locked and loaded. So now they just got to get it out there and get it done. So more information coming from the Zambia trip with a teaser video, I think, um, from what I heard. Um, and then more coming down the road. So, like I said, any breaking news, I'll have it for you. Everybody, enjoy the weekend. Enjoy your Sunday. I'll be in touch. Definitely.